today we will understand the difference between the word compare and the word contrast so before we get into the video if you are new to this channel kindly click on the subscribe button for the future notifications and to tell you more about myself my name is nakul and i've made many videos on this channel with respect to the english grammar common english mistakes and whatnot you can browse through the remaining set of videos and today we have got the most important thing a lot of native speakers even have problems understanding the difference between compare and contrast so let's get straight into the video all right so let's understand the difference between compare and contrast compare and contrast perhaps to a lay person looks the same looks similar but they're entirely different of course you need two entities to compare or to contrast and when you say you're comparing you're perhaps trying to compare what is common between them and when you're contrasting perhaps you're trying to understand what differs them what is different between them so to tell you more about it compare you identify the similarities contrast you identify the differences as simple as that so when you compare apples and mangoes and what is similar between them when i compared apples and mangoes i understood that they both are fruits they both are grown on the trees correct so this is comparison wherein you take two things and you compare and you understand oh this is the similarity between them how about when you contrast when you contrast you try to identify the difference between them apple and mango what is the difference they are they look different in color they look different in their appearance correct one is of this taste other is of other taste this is not comparison this is contrasting compare is when you take two things and compare it means you are trying to find out the similarities between them contrast is when you're trying to find out the difference between them both are different in color both have different taste that's contrasting both are the fruits both are grown on the same tree that's a comparison so to give you more about it um, the venn diagram this a lot of people use this diagram to help one understand the difference between compare and contrast so in this venn diagram there are two things so if you see this particular thing represents the center is common between the two that's called compare and the rest is contrast this thing is unique to this particular diagram this thing is unique to this particular diagram that means that's the difference the commonness similarity is the compare and to remember this come come together contrast contrary i can remember the meaning of it using this well we have got more uh, to it let's add some sentences help you understand more about compare and contrast let's say you're writing an essay and you have to compare two different sites that means two different things means you are trying to find similarities there you're gonna use the words likewise in common as well as similarly but let's say you're contrasting them probably um, agree disagree say or anything you are trying to say one thing in this line next line says the exact opposite means you're trying to find a difference there you can use the word on the other hand as opposed to in contrast despite however although but the many conjunctions like this you can use i'll give you a very simple scenario and explain you how to use them uh, quickly so this is a diagram on my right it's the cat and the dog both are looking at each other if you want to compare them perhaps i'll make use of these words and say likewise they both are lovely means cat is also lovely this is also lovely that's a common thing between them you can also say in common they have loving nature cat as well as dog of mind love to play together means both of them inherit same characteristics when you compare them you understood this is common in them my cat loves milk similarly my dog also likes the milk that means this is a similar character this you understood when you compared them that means when you're comparing or contrasting probably you are trying to study them both and the results right what is similar between them will categorized into will be categorized into comparing what is different between them will be categorized into contrasting so now the compare is done now we go to contrast my cat sleeps on the sofa on the other hand dog likes it on the mat that's a contrasting thing here you're not comparing you're contrasting cat likes to tickle me like this like this but dog as opposed to dog who loves to lick me these two are different characteristics my cat eats early in the morning in contrast the dog dog takes us meal by afternoon i hope you are getting the differences between contrast and compare so next time when you use them use them rightly and wisely and if you want more informative and useful content something on this sort 
kindly click on the subscribe button and follow our channel for the future notifications we will never disappoint you with this i'm gonna park the video here this is nakul from skills academy of english very soon we'll be back till then take care thanks much